y'all welcome back to my youtube channel and long freaking time no see according to youtube i have not posted a video in 28 days four weeks that i think is probably the longest i have gone without posting a youtube video since like 2015 or something but hello i am back i have missed y'all and hopefully i am not going away again anytime soon so today I thought I would do kind of just like an informal little video and get you caught back up to speed so I can get back to my normal videos. There's no really elaborate reason why I was gone. Number one, I was super busy with work and just didn't find time to pick up my camera. And then number two, I got super duper sick and didn't have a voice for two weeks. Here's a little example. I've been sick the past week and I woke up this morning and my voice totally gone. I'm drinking some coffee. I'm sure you can't hear me, but if anyone has any suggestions of how to get my voice back, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Like my voice was gone. I have never lost my voice like that. And thankfully it is mostly back. I still sound a little bit off and I'm still fighting some coffin fits over two weeks later but I am finally feeling more like myself. But that sickness kicked my booty and I just didn't want to pick up the camera and stress my vocal cords that were already all sorts of messed up. But like I mentioned, today is just gonna be a little bit of an informal video. I'm gonna show you what's been going on around here, what we've been up to, and get you caught up to speed. So with that, I promise I am not leaving again anytime soon. And here's a little bit of an update. Obviously, this is a very important update. Uh, I got a new coffee maker. Did I need a new coffee maker? No, no I did not. But Keurig's advertising got me. They were showing that you could get the brewer for a reduced price if you sign up for their subscription program, which is where you have to buy like 16 boxes of pods in a year. So uh, I did it and I got a new brewer. maker very exciting and yes I did change my shirt my dad just called and asked if I could come pick him up from discount tire so I'm about to go do that cheers to a new coffee maker <laughs> went and picked up my dad all is well and I've got to eat something so yesterday I made a video making these banana bread overnight oats so I am eating that for breakfast today even though it's 11 49 p.m. these Rubbermaid brilliance containers are awesome here is my little overnight oats i did eat half of them earlier this morning because i woke up super hungry but these are so good so freaking good mm -mm -mm. the next update is that i have chickens living in my house once again so the story here this little one right here i brought her inside two weeks ago basically to die she was exhibiting the same symptoms of a bird that I had die last year. I knew she wasn't going to make it, but I started throwing some Hail Marys at her to see if we could help her survive. And here we are two weeks later. Homegirl is thriving. I'm so happy this little girl pulled through, but one thing we did figure out was <laughs> she runs like a little mouse. But we figured out she is special needs. Her whole body curves to the right. She is definitely stunted in her growth. But besides that, her attitude is now great. She is eating and drinking. And so she is going to be a little house chicken. And I'm going to have to keep her separated here with her friend. That is so cute, girl. But I also brought this one inside because she wasn't doing too hot either. And I wanted this one to have a little companion. So now I have two very spoiled birds that love all of the love and attention that I can give them. And this one looks just like a little lion to me. She is also doing a lot better as well. Very needy but they're very cute and I'm so glad that they didn't die. So there we go. We got more house chickens who are crazy little things. Another update, I got these really cool stick-on 
shower organizers and I just had to share because I am obsessed with them. They have this little adhesive sticker that you stick to a surface and then you attach the shelves and they're awesome. So I'm going to link those down below just because they're freaking cool. I also got these clear little bins off of Amazon to try and better organize all of my stuff into little boxes instead of just shoving it in here all willy-nilly. And it makes me feel so much better having it organized. These two puppuccinos are as cute as ever. Bo ended up getting a bad eye infection, but it looks all nice and healed now. He also ripped off one of his toenails and we had to go to the vet for that as well. But he is all healed up now, and they want a treat. Oh, wow, Mr. Shark. Oh, you take it so much more nice. So the boys, everything has been good with the cute boys. There is a lot that has been going on outside, so I'm excited to show you what we've been up to. The most exciting thing is we have begun construction on the chicken mansion right here behind me. This is going to be an eight foot by 16 foot chicken coop. This thing can hold up, crap load of chickens. But we decided to go big or go home. Gonna have some storage in here so I can store all of their feed and supplies out of the way. But y'all, let me show you this thing. When I say it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be huge. So we got the flooring down and we got up one wall the other day. It is eight feet tall, and then we're gonna have a roof on top of that. So this is going to be a big structure. Right now, these are just braces holding up that one wall. But the chicken mansion has begun, and I'm so excited. Since the last video I made, all of the chickens have grown exponentially, and we got a lot of chickens. I'm at 40 something chickens. I'm not counting, so no one knows how many chickens I truly have. But let me show you all of the chickens. In this coop, we have lots and lots of chickens. In addition to the adults, I've added in a lot of my younger babies. And so we got a lot of chickens in here and a lot of roosters who need to go. But we got an extra coop in here. We got crow and roosters. We got this little dude who thinks he is big and mighty, but he is a tiny little man. Chickens everywhere in here. That is why it is so, oh my golly girl. It is so important that we get the chicken mansion up very, very soon. In this little coop right here are my youngest chicks, which aren't so young anymore. They are growing up. And I think this one's a rooster. He's so pretty, but they're all growing up getting so big. I can't believe how big everyone is getting. And the last chicken update out here is I actually bought four more chickens. This is the start of my mini bird project. So this is a breed called Saramas and they are some of the smallest chickens in the world when full grown. And they still hate me, don't like me at all yet. I'm about to build them their own little coop. But I bought four of these cuties so I can begin my micro chicken breeding project. Another thing that's really cool is I got this new crawfish boiler. It's from a company called Texas Star Outdoors. And y'all, this thing is awesome. We did a crawfish boil last weekend. Let me show you what it looked like. It turned out awesome. This thing is a beast. It holds two sacks of crawfish and I can't wait to put it to use. Although crawfish is coming to an end, I'm hoping we have time to do one more boil so I can do a little how-to video with y'all because it's pretty cool. The little bunnies are doing good. A couple days ago, June gave us a little scare. She wasn't wanting to come out and eat, and she is a pig. She will eat everything that I put in here. So when she wouldn't come out and she wasn't eating, I was very scared, but we got some baby gas drops in her, and thankfully, she didn't have any further GI issues. But this little thing is the cutest, sweetest girl who rips apart everything you love, like your carpet and your wooden castles and your 
rabbit hutches. There's just wood chewed up everywhere. Rabbits are fun if you like having everything you love eaten by the two little bonnies. We got Mr. Rudy Patootie who is doing really good. Although he no longer likes me. He only likes his friend June. Ain't that right, Rudy? You just don't care about me anymore because now you don't need a friend because I got you one. Another really exciting thing that has been happening is Cody and I have started running fishing charters with Hey Y'all Fishing Guide Service. So if you want to go fishing, you've got to reach out. Well, guys, with that, I think I've bombarded y'all with enough of an update over the last four weeks. It has been crazy. Both Cody and I have been sick. We've had a lot going on, but I am so excited to be back to YouTube. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little bit of an update, catching you up to speed on what's been going on around here. I will be back with my normal content here in the next couple of days, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys.